I want to put like a star or a heart or something here. Hi guys, my name's Andrea and welcome to Barbie Punk. Today we're going to be doing a POC owned business haul, person of color owned business haul. A haul where all of the items are from POC owned businesses. Boom, that makes sense. So it's kind of going to be all over the place. You know me, it's going to be a lot of pinks, a lot of pastel goth stuff. So let's get on into it, shall we? This first one I actually got as a present for Christmas. Look at it, it's so cute. It is a choker that uh, my friend Alex got customized for me and it says be punk um, for Barbie punk. So it is from the brand Lexachan. So it is a black owned brand and they do a bunch of like cute customized chokers. So this one is just a pastel pink. It has a bunch of really nice hardware over here. And then in the front of it, it has a rhinestoned be punk. As usual, the links will be in the bio to all the shops that I talk about. Next up is Chris's Sparkles. This is just actually a little mirror that I got for free. And here is the packaging on this one. So I actually pre-ordered this one. It comes in this nice like reusable, customized packaging. Um, but I pre-ordered this when it came out because I saw it and I was like, that's me. That is me. That is for me. You made it for me. Thank you. But it is this oversized knit sweater and it's this like checkered print with um, hearts on it. So pink and black checkered print with like reverse hearts on, on the opposite squares, you see? But I think I got a size medium. Yes, I got a size medium in this one and it is meant to be a little oversized. So it looks cute and nice and cozy. Uh, unfortunately, right now it is the middle of summer. So I could not wear this. I could not wear this. I'm gonna put it on for the try on section, but I will be sweating to death. But <laughs> for fall and winter, here you go. Um, super duper cute. This business is owned by uh, Chrissa Sparkles, obviously, who is Filipina. I don't know if I've like legitimately shown this yet. Um, I know that it was in my looking like a anime character video, but um, Felt like I needed to properly show it. So um, this kimono is by Uber Dandy Kimono, which is a black owned business. So it is meant to sort of mix uh, more African style prints with uh, Japanese culture, give it kind of a fun fusion craziness sort of idea. And that's why I really love this kimono. I had uh, Tia make it for me personally because I saw it on on the uber dandy kimono Instagram and I was like I want that one and they were like that was for a photo shoot but uh, if you want it I can do it and I was like yes please yes please so it's half and half and it's really cool over on this side it's got this like Beetlejuice like almost butterfly print um, on this really great bubblegum pink color that you know that I love. And then on the other side, clearly my other favorite color is teal. I mean, other than black and white, but it's this teal print that is just kind of crazy. And I love that about it. It's just this like split kimono. It feels like a cotton material, really breathable. So probably more like yukata style. Um, I'm still trying to gather the pieces that I need to do a whole look with this. Maybe I will wear it in Japan when I'm there. Who knows? But um, really cool. Check them out. All right. Next up here we have this little dress from the House of Eris. I bought this 
in October of last year. I don't know if it's gonna fit me right now. We'll see, I'll try to try it on for you, but I don't know if it's gonna fit me right now. Um, but again, another uh, black owned business. The owner's name is Eris. They're living in, I wanna say Hong Kong. We're gonna correct ourselves here. Um, actually, Vietnam. And so they do like specialty pieces just kind of based on what fabrics they happen to find in town. I have another piece by them that I wore in another video. It's just this really cool like giant pink cape with a giant pink hood. And I saw this on the House of Eris Instagram and I was like, again, I need that. So I waited for them to put it up on their Etsy and then I just grabbed it. So they do a lot of like one of a kind pieces or like limited edition pieces just based on the fabrics that they find, which I think is really cool. So this one was really special. So we have this little like see-through baby doll dress in this like pink floral pattern. And then every once in a while there is this little like 3D floral piece, 3D flower. Um, has little pink ruffles around the neckline and then it comes with this little like apron situation that you can style however you want and I think it's really cute I don't know if it'll fit me right now oof that's seeming tough I don't know if this will fit me right now but it's real cute I've worn a black dress underneath this because it is see-through but I wouldn't wear it like this I'm gonna have to find a different way to wear this when it actually fits me again, but I got this in a size large. Possibly at the time it fit me, but at this point I'm thinking it probably doesn't. Is this the last one? Okay, cool. So this is the last one and this is from the brand Muzkin. So I got this one in a size medium. Muzkin is a brand based in China, and they are, again, a brand that's trying to bring um, new funky elements to like traditional clothing. So I saw this, again, on their Instagram. That's how I shop. I just follow a bunch of brand Instagrams that I really like, and then wait for the thing that I like can't live without, and then I just, snatch um, so this blazer was part of a set but I decided not to get the shorts that came with it it's just this like purple patchwork blazer it's supposed to be oversized it has like a bunch of different like purples on it a bunch of different pinks on it there's some like creams and whites a little bit of blue it's just like really cool and I've been obsessed with blazers for a while. I'm like a jacket person in general. Like if I can layer more things, more different fashions on top of each other, um, it's just like, that does it for me. So I really like an interesting blazer because I feel like there's a lot that you can do with it. Like maybe you can take like a little black dress and then just make it a whole ass Luke, you know? Like, <laughs> if we just pretend that I wasn't already wearing something so extra right now. I mean, it goes though. To be honest, this is a look. Like, hello. Again, I would probably size up if I were to order it right now. However, I did also order this last year. <laughs> so, um, it fits. But it's not like oversized like it uh, like it would be if I got the size that I was supposed to get. So I think that that is it for this haul. I just wanted to bring some light to some POC creatives um, so that we can start supporting those types of brands. As a POC myself, I'm Asian, Filipino. Uh, I think that it is important that minorities support each other um, and in general, people support 
minority owned businesses. I don't know, you can find a lot of cool stuff. For the most part, they tend to be more expensive because they tend to be handmade um, or limited or custom or, you know, not made in a giant factory. So it is a little investment, but I think that it is worth doing, especially for the quality of the pieces that you end up getting and um, just putting the money elsewhere, you know? Should I bring up me? Let's bring up me. Let's just bring up me real quick. If you don't know, I'm also a POC business owner. And I do have my own shop called Social Armor that you can check out also in the link down below. But uh, if you want like cute skirts like this or the matching top that we just made, ooh, ooh, a matching top. Uh, you can check me out as well. But that is all for this video. Don't forget to like it, subscribe it, share it, bop it, twist it, pass it, and don't ask questions, just go with it.